Welcome to a rather risk day here in Glasgow. I've come into the city with my camera, you guessed it, to do some wildlife photography. About a month ago now I did a video called Looking for Nature in Glasgow where I kind of went around some parts of the city looking for places that weren't, you know, so urban, they had a bit of nature and if you saw the video you will know that I actually forgot to bring my long lens so I couldn't do any photography while I was there but I thought I'd rectify that today, <laughs> bring my camera and my long lens and hopefully get some nice wildlife shots. I'm currently in Kelvin Grove Park which was one of the places that I um, showcased in that video next to the Kelvin River, which is the water that you can probably hear in the background, which I hope isn't too noisy. The current of this part of the river is like crazy fast. Pretty cool. <laughs> tree and using it to um like balance something and the squirrels like I've been mean, taking it in turns to just kind of come over and check me out <laughs> like and it's definitely a good thing that I kind of I didn't go near them I just I kept my distance and kind of stayed and they approached me and were like yo let's check this chick out this chick don't have I ever used the word chick <laughs> We're just chilling out and they think they've just got comfortable with me being here like they kind of Looked me over and were like, oh, she's not she's not any threat. She's not gonna do anything to us So we are quite comfortable for her to just sit there. So that's good <laughs> grey squirrels is that they are actually classified as a non-native invasive species. They are not native to Britain. Um, they were brought over from America in the 1800s. But the thing is that unfortunately they have driven our native squirrel species, the red squirrel, to near, exti um, near extinction. They are endangered for two kind of main reasons. Grey squirrels act as competition to the red squirrels for food, um, so red squirrels have been driven out of what was their habitat before by grey squirrels. There's only really kind of populations of red squirrels that still exist in Scotland. There are some elsewhere in um, Britain, but kind of the highlands of Scotland, Perthshire, and then I think also Dumfries and Galloway are the main strongholds of red squirrels. So, you know, loss of habitat, loss of food sources are two big reasons, but then the other <laughs> Is that technically three reasons? Anyway, the other big reason is that grey squirrels actually carry something called squirrel pox. It is not um, harmful to the grey squirrels, they're just carriers of it. But the disease is actually fatal to red squirrels. So, you know, those are the reasons. It's, it's unfortunate. It's not the grey squirrels' fault that they were introduced here. Um, but their population is really seriously threatening the population of red squirrels. There are some charities that are really trying to find ways to combat this, like the Scottish Wildlife Trust and Saving Scotland's Red Squirrels. I don't know if that is a project run by the Scottish Wildlife Trust or not. Anyway, they are doing great work um, to try and save populations of red squirrels here in Scotland. But, you know, the grey squirrels are cute as well and it's not their fault, you know. <laughs> they didn't ask to be brought over here. They didn't swim across the Atlantic to here. I'm really enjoying just kind of being surrounded by these little guys. They're so kind of curious and obviously because they live in a park they are used to humans so they don't mind me being here. They're kind of um, jumping over, hopping over to me to see if I have any food because obviously you know where people are they tend to feed wildlife um, but they see I don't and they just leave me alone and I leave them alone and I think I've got a few good shots with them. Um, so I'm gonna walk further around the park and see if I can 
see anything else it's just not a squirrel like this pigeon that's just flown over through you two pigeons <laughs> we couldn't have an urban wildlife video without you guys <laughs> I don't think I've actually said this before that in all my videos um, I actually include a list of any and all wildlife that's been spotted in the description along with their scientific names so if you ever want to check out what wildlife is in a video you can go down to down to the description because I don't think anyone ever reads descriptions but it's in there <laughs> funny when I was coming down to the park I was like I really hope I can find the, the squirrels again because you know, they'll be good to be able to get pictures of and <laughs> I needn't worry there are squirrels literally everywhere that, that so much that I'm like, right, okay try and find something else now <laughs> my last video you're like okay Meg we are tired of ducks we don't want to see any more ducks but there's some ducks <laughs> I can resist the water is so still and the lighting is so just on point that there is like a perfect reflection of the ducks in my pictures well I hope it's it's perfect 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 it's a good reflection it's a good reflection <laughs> Who gave you the right to be that cute? What the heck? <laughs> that tail as well, oh my god! I'm actually obsessed guys. I love you! But I think I'm going to be wrapping up the vlog here because I will need to get home and get a head start on sorting through and editing the literally must be well over a hundred pictures of <laughs> grey squirrels that I have. Like, they've been everywhere, I've went mad. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, like I said, I'll be wrapping up the video here. Um, I very rarely talk about my social media on here, but if you want to, you can follow me on Instagram where I post wildlife photography and personal pictures. If, you know, for some reason you want to see more of me, you can go follow me on there. And you can also follow me on Twitter if you want to <laughs> but all that's left to say is thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will maybe see you 